Sir Robert Walpole, born on the 26th of August 1676 in Houghton, Norfolk, is regarded as the first British Prime Minister. He served as Prime Minister from the 4th of April 1721 to the 11th of February 1742, making him also the longest reigning Prime Minister of a reign of 20 years and 314 days, winning four general elections and serving the monarchs of George I and George II. Walpole was the MP for a constituency called King's Lynn. The significant events during Walpole's premierships include the South Sea Bubble, which was a company which was part public owned and part private owned, and had a main aim to consolidate and reduce the cost of Britain's national debt. The company also had a monopoly on trading with South America. In the 1710s and 1720s, stock in, in South Sea expanded during the Spanish War of the Succession, as the company expanded its business dealings with government debt. In 1720, the stocks collapsed and the national economy suffered. This prompted Walpole to pass the Bubble Act, which made joint stock companies illegal without a royal charter. Another significant act was the Licensing Act of 1737, which was passed to control and censor theatre and stage plays. This act mostly censored and limited what these plays could say about the British government. The government feared that free speech and stage plays could lead to spreading of revolutionary ideas. And finally, there's the War of Jenkins' Ear, which lasted nine years from 1739 to 1748, and this was a war between the British Empire and the Spanish Empire in North America, into with the status quo being remained. Britain was defeated in the Caribbean, and the British invasion of Florida was repulsed, and the Spanish invasion of Georgia was a failure. The hostilities of the war was ended with a treaty in 1748. British casualties include 20,000 dead, wounded or missing, and 407 of its ships lost. Spanish casualties include 4,500 dead, 5,000 wounded, and 186 of its ships lost. Walpole is sometimes regarded as being the first Prime Minister to practice the act of splendid isolation, in which Britain would not interfere in European affairs and wars, and instead focus on itself and its empire. Splendid isolation is one of the factors that allowed the Industrial Revolution to begin in Britain in the 19th century. Walpole was proud of his no interference in Europe that it's rumoured he used to brag to Queen Charlotte, there are 50,000 men slain in Europe this year, and not a single one an Englishman. Walpole was forced out of office on 11th of February 1742 after his government lost a vote of no confidence. The remaining Whigs joined the Patriot Whigs and formed a new government, whilst the Tories remained in opposition. However, after this, Walpole was still active in politics and offered government advice and, speaks, and often spoke on behalf of the government in the House of Lords as he became the Earl of Orford. Walpole's health declined quickly towards the end of 1744, and he died in 1745 at the age of 68, and was buried in the parish church of Martin in Norfolk. But his legacy lives on. Thanks for watching.